show up in the party, flyer than everybody. We show up in the party, flyer than everybody. We show up in the party, flyer than everybody. We show up in the party, flyer than everybody. We show up in the party, flyer than everybody. We show up in the party. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Carbon and today we are gonna talk about and bring back the series Best Places to Land. Now whether this is solos, doers, or squads, this one could actually be for all three. And today we are talking about Firing Range. My favorite place to land in solos. Absolute favorite. It is the Tilted Towers of Blackout. Now guys, there's many things to know about Firing Range, but the first one is where to land. And the best thing I could say is where to land where nobody else does is a building that I like to call Double. It is a double story and nobody ever lands in there and it's right here. As soon as you open, you just come right down to this building here. You see right here? And there's always guns down here. Always. Always, always, always guns down here. Alright? And there's usually equipment. There's sometimes a supply box right down here to the right of the tires. And then once you come right up here, you get the laser sight, you know, you get all the other cool... I'm not saying the laser sight's going to be up here all the time, but there's a lot of good stuff in this first building. And you can easily rotate. Very easily rotate, okay? Like, so no matter where you hear people, you can come right in here to firing range. And there's actually a challenge here. If you come over to this spot right here, sometimes there's a box or on this table. And if you have the revolver, you shoot a target that's out there and a box will pop up with the annihilator in it and there's also a stash box that can spawn right here and this can have your level three armors and your well yeah you still your level three armors and your fully tactical weapons or your golden weapons however you like to call them and you can also come right over here to where another one of those stash boxes could spawn which is right there between the two tires and then if you come right over here towards what I call graveyard, this whole area is graveyard to me, and you climb up here and then up here, oh look at that, some more stuff. Sometimes there's a box right there or there, and there's also a smaller stash box that could put right there. Now keep in mind that the stash boxes could be the big or littles, but I'm talking mainly the big ones right now, and I'll tell you about the little ones. And then there's another big one that can spawn right there, or actually right there. And... Uh, that building we just came out of is called Green Camo because it's Green Camo or you just call it Green or Camo and this is rust because this building's all rusted. This is great to go into for very very dark areas. If uh, you hear people coming from the left or the right here just go into the dark area and then this building right here is called America because it's red white and blue and the entire roof is painted the American flag. This has great great spawns for for um for equipment and guns and there's also a med kit that can spawn right back there where I just shot and right out here at the door is usually where a vehicle will spawn right there it's usually the ARAV um, that's just one of ARAV only spawns five spots and that's one of them right out there side firing range and then if we come right over here to what I call a red building well basically because the building is red or you can call it barn you know but you come right in here and there's usually uh, this is where I usually find the Bowie knife a lot or armor scraps and trauma kits that seems to be what is a great spawn area here and then if you guys come right over here there's actually a challenge that you can unlock here it's uh, the practice makes perfect dark ops you can shoot a bullseye on a target from 90 meters or more so you know that is the challenge and it is called practice makes perfect and it is part of the doc dark ops challenges and then right over to the right of that where I shot before is where a smaller box will spawn and then if we come down the firing range and we go to the smaller firing range area right over here, there's actually another small box that would spawn right there. And look at that, a gold weapon. And then if you come right over to the other challenge, it is actually called Seraph Character Unlock. I actually told you about that one. That annihilator that comes out of the box that you get after shooting the target um, after you kill a player with it and you finish the game, that's how you unlock Seraph, which is one of my favorite characters in all of Blackout. Now, guys, there's a lot of things that go with landing with firing range, and that is definitely as soon as you get perks, 
you want to put them on here. As soon as you get perks, you want to put them on. They are the most advantageous because firing range is a great rotation for a lot of other people as well because they think, ooh, a lot of quick loot, you know, especially if they had a bad landing spot. But if anybody else lands around you and you have equipment such as a sensor dart and trip mind, it is a great place to set all around. Guys, you can also get on top of uh, cam camo building over here by climbing up the fence and then going up here. Or if you come down, you can actually get back up by going on these boxes. And I'll show you why this is great, because if you hear anybody inside of green camo, you can actually just look through the holes in the ceiling right here, and you can shoot down at them. Most people don't know to look up there. So it's kind of like shooting fish in a barrel. And you can always come through the window right here if you, and you know shoot down at them. It just depends on the skill level you're coming at. And uh, try to avoid opening garage doors, because that is a definite pinpoint of where you are within the map. Now, I hope you guys have enjoyed most of the tips here as far as firing range. There's definitely a lot more to firing range. You just have to kind of make it your own and get your own rotations. Like, you know, such as here, you can see that I'm getting up on boxes. All this is just great view, but keep in mind, firing range is a low level map. It can be seen from almost all directions um, from on top of a hill. So if you think you're in the sniper's nest or any high point, do know that people on the ground level outside of firing range can see you and they will fire at you. So, but from firing range, there's a lot of great rotations. The zombie areas are around firing range now. Like I said, the ARAV's there. Um, there's uh, more trucks and more uh, more ATVs that spawn around firing range towards the farms. And there's also a helicopter that spawns just south of firing range um, by a double story brick building that's across a dirt road from a normal house and you guys will you know you'll you'll find that over time when rotating you know from here you can go a lot of different places i love firing range it's where all the perks are at it's where all the fun is at it's where um if you know if you want to practice and get into engagements this is where you want to go this is absolutely the place you want to go there's uh, other places too i'm going to be coming out with and talking about and uh, some of them are going to be such as train station we're going to do a whole revamp of train station uh, we're going to talk about hijacked and why you should not land there and future videos we're, all going to, we're also going to talk about uh, turbine and how it's very underrated and we're also going to talk about a small city that's kind of like rivertown but not rivertown and the advantages of landing there and rotating and we're also going to talk about um I'm going to break down some weapon statistics, I'm going to break down uh, weapon statistics that have to do with armor and range, so you can absolutely figure out through the statistics and the specs of each weapon which weapon is actually the best weapon in Blackout. So guys, please stay subscribed, I upload every single day, I love you guys, comment, like, peace, subscribe, peace, PEACE! Actually guys, before we go, I want to say one more thing, my headset didn't die in this video, can you believe it? My headset didn't die, but I didn't actually try to fix it. It might have just been something weird going on. But uh, I did uh, reach 1,800 subscribers, and I am really happy about that, guys. Thank you. I'm close to 1,900. Let's see if we can get that 2,000. Guys, I am so looking forward to it. Thank you again for the opportunity and the chance to serve you guys with these tips. Again, love you. Peace. God, I can't believe those of you that made it this far actually watched this far but if you did holy crap I appreciate it I love you I hope you hit that like subscribe and leave a comment letting me know you watched all the way to the bottom because that's hilarious all right guys peace love you I'm going to bed